So, what did break. SNK offer to the po general population after Mutation Nation, I wonder? According to the list, it states Last Resort. Last Resort. I guess SNK was getting desperate. Apparently, they pulled out all the stops. I wonder if this is a sort of equivalent to Final Fantasy. <laughs> a Final Fantasy on the Neo Geo would be a side scrolling beat em up where you used summon spells to clear the screen, most likely. Then they would have animated talking heads babbling for one hour in the middle of the game, explaining the entire plot in one go. Oof. Apparently, it's a side-scrolling shooter. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Level normal, continue one. No, I want three continues at least. Pilot manual, okay. Heroes move, units move. Right. You can shoot with select. Wait, don't you have four buttons already? Why does it use select, start, and two buttons? Huh. More gauge, more strong. There you go. We're just Hell like yes, animated cutscenes. And apparently you actually shoot the guys out of their vehicles. That's it's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> well, at least you know they're all safely ejected and instead fall horribly to their deaths. Yeah, oh, look at this guy. Hey, it's a Cubely! And it's launching bits! I should just and realize I'm that the cars at the bottom are just people going about yeah, their daily business and you're just <laughs> shooting them up. <laughs> oh hey, it's a raining man. Hallelujah. I really have to stop that. So it's one hit, one death. That's interesting to know. And you apparently start over the entire level. It is absolutely ridiculous, and I sincerely hope yeah, it wasn't actually like that in the arcades. Um, and this guy, you actually don't get to touch him either. I thought he was that sort of boss that you could, you know, fly over and get to the other side when he was firing his projectiles, but apparently not. If you touch him at all, you die. I was not, I was not prepared for that. So what the hell are you supposed to be? At least in Neo Geo gets to show off with all its nice little sprite lighting effects and stuff. Gets to show where all that extra RAM then went. Oh, over here. Look at all these sprites with no slowdown, isn't that amazing? Yeah. But really, at this time, this, this was pretty amazing. It really was amazing, yeah. Try getting that on your Nintendo. Crap. Please don't do Oh my god, you ha- No, thank god, you got to start off at the tunnel. Had I been forced to start the entire level over, I would have been cross. If nothing else, yeah, it would have ruined it for the viewers. <laughs> and those are ge those are uh, Zeons. These are most definitely Zeons. So we fought against Quibblies and now we're up to Zeons. I wonder if there will be any other Gundam references. Ah, apparently these guys don't actually reach all the way up, so you can just sit at the top. These guys do reach all the way up though. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yes, I am ri- oh god damn it, come on! Who was responsible for the checkpoints in this game? <laughs> <laughs> Someone who hates everything you stand for.
I mean, in the arcade version I can almost understand. And yeah, it means you get more quarters out of people. But come on, in the home version... At least put one down every 30 seconds or so, because people will be dying a lot. This is also, screw you, civilians. At least everything looks nice while you are shooting the shit out of things. Let's see, I wonder There's if you can actually destroy this guy at all, or if it's a trick. Ah, it's a trick. And I wasn't quite fast enough, because I got stuck in the ceiling. Apparently the ceiling blocks you if you hit it. Good to know. This is getting painful. Don't worry, this is just the first level, you got plenty more coming after this. <laughs> I'm not getting any further of this. <laughs> Crap. And he just launches my ball in the opposite direction. Suddenly I lose my gun pod, which means that I can't actually shoot the guys down, so I get killed. Damn it. It is way too imprecise in how you fire that thing off. I honestly wish they had w assist one of those systems where you could actually move it by pressing a button instead of it a automatically trying to go in the reverse direction where you're going, because that never works out well. Oh, good god. Side-scrolling shooters. How many of these have I played on my stream, I wonder? That's a good question, and I think we're in the hundreds at some point. I don't know. Yeah, at least over a hundred. I will s say over a hundred without even hesitating. And there were like really? three or four that you were good at and enjoyed? Uh, Mainly ones that were somewhat fair. <laughs> Which is hard to find in side scrolling shooters. God. This is painful for me, so I can only imagine how painful it must be for the people watching. That is always my big concern when I'm playing side scrolling shooters, because I know that there are always people in the stream chat and later on on YouTube just biting their knuckles in anger because I'm doing so horribly and they just keep telling themselves I could do so much better than him I could do so much better than him why is he playing why is he playing and well I'm not a, I'm really not ashamed of it I am terrible at side scrolling shooters I informed people of this way before the stream even started originally it's like yeah I mean say what you want but you are not going to get skilled play from me when it comes to side scrolling shooters at all and those were Seekers. Don't, those weren't actually on a pattern. Those were Seekers. Oh my. Crap. Well, apparently they realized that people would be going down there like I did. So the next set of enemies immediately afterwards are Seekers that chase you down instead. Bloody hell. Well, Fixelbrum's at least getting a kick out of watching you fail. Screaming his face off, I guess. <laughs> no, he's staring at the uh, graphics, actually. Enjoying them. I have to admit, it's probably the most important, enjoyable part of this so far. Honestly, yeah. So. It is a very bog standard side scrolling shooter, only that it has really nice graphics. Good lord. Damn it! My time is a tenth of a second off each time. This tunnel is the tunnel of death. Yeah, not a tunnel of love here. It just wants to ride on it, it's just bullets and death. Especially since I'm killing civilians like it's no thing. Yeah, they're not innocent, they got in my way. They were in the yeah, general on the area. Road below. 
Then again, if you actually keep driving forward when you see this ahead of you, you probably deserve what you get. Although from the looks of it, this is some sort of like elevated highway. I don't know if they have anywhere else to go. Besides they could the stop. Place, hoping you, don't hit them. you don't have to keep going forward. You can't stop. At least slow down. But then they're caught up in all the flaming wreckage. Well, as the last resorts go, hopefully we never need to pull this one out again.